Hi, my name is Andrew Cunningham, Head of Estates Development for the Southern Health and Social Care Trust here in Northern Ireland. And we are at our Banvale House site in Guildford, which is a lovely listed Georgian building. Here within our existing car park, we'll be forming our new extension for our sustainably constructed and procured health and wellbeing hub. Firstly, we have designed it in accordance with the Passive House Initiative and using the RICS Whole Life Carbon Assessment Standard for measurement of carbon production from inception through to completion of this scheme. We're using a range of innovative technologies, including specific and specialist mechanical and electrical services, and a high level of insulation to ensure that this is our most efficient and sustainable building project ever. A big driver in undertaking this project is our move towards net zero in line with statutory and governmental targets. And we hope to reduce operational running costs and our energy consumption for this building by around 75% by venturing down this avenue. We had identified this particular scheme as a scheme that we wanted to look at in terms of trying to procure and construct in a more sustainable way. So it's had a massive impact in terms of the design and then obviously then in terms of progression through those design phases, what that's doing in terms of our modeling that we're doing and the projected outturn costs in terms of our you know, projected running costs, etc. This is showing the potential at this stage to potentially reduce our um, operational running costs of the building for up to 75%. So a way that I would, for RICS members watching, would kind of reference the whole life carbon assessment is it provides you with that structure to ensure balanced design. And that's already been proven with this particular scheme in terms of the design ethos and design tweaks and changes that have already been made in that scheme to get us to the point we are today. This is a great example of what members will gain by adopting the second edition of the Whole Life Carbon Assessment Standard. The second edition was to update the 2017 standard to broaden the remit, now capturing different sectors and extending to infrastructure to allow it to include a greater proportion of the value chain. This touches upon all aspects of the built and natural environment, including construction and operation, impacting upon investment and management of those assets. So I found the support from RICS HQ to be, to be massively helpful. Sustainability and carbon hasn't been my discipline, although it's something now which falls under my management and remit from my organization. I suppose in terms of starting out at concept design stage with this particular project, I was looking at the RICS Whole Life Carbon Assessment Standard and you know, I suppose I was learning and trying to figure out as I was going along, how do I implement this for my particular project? And any queries and questions that I had, RICS were just at the end of the phone or via email and provide huge, huge support, not just to me, but to my energy waste and sustainability team. There are a wide range of resources available when using the second edition. Our Whole Life Carbon Assessment Hub has guides, supporting documents, as well as training and web class opportunities. If, like Andrew, you have any questions about the standard, please do get in contact with us. A big driver for us as well is, is the financial and value for money aspect. In terms of whole life carbon assessment, the information that we're already seeing to date on this particular scheme, the projected cost savings that we feel the adoption of the whole life carbon assessment and its influence on not only design stage and then the future organizational and running costs for this particular facility are going to be very, very beneficial from a financial perspective to us as well. In terms of how it's supporting the organization, the whole life carbon assessment, although has only been adopted initially on this one project, the influence that it has had on this particular scheme, even in how we have actually gone about the design, has been massive for one individual project. And obviously we would see this then becoming more widely adopted across everything we do in terms of the, the built environment across the state. So it's gonna be quite significant going forward for us. I think there's going to be major benefits of this particular project in terms of benefit to the public. I suppose within my particular field as well in terms of healthcare, in terms of patient recovery and treatment of illness etc, the environment with which they're treated in is, is very very important as well. So we have an obligation in that regard in terms of obviously the trust aims and objectives to provide the highest quality healthcare that we provide. There are huge benefits for any organization adopting the whole life carbon assessment standard. In respect of RICS members, the first thing to be cognizant of is this is best practice and we should be complying with them. The adoption of this standard has significant opportunity to save you or your clients money. 
specifically in relation to the QS discipline and building surveying discipline, I think this is a natural progression route in terms of professional services. And I think that this is something that all clients are going to start requesting more and more. So from that perspective, I would encourage any organization and any RICS member at any relevant project that they're involved in to, to adopt the whole life carbon assessment because, you know, at the end of the day, why wouldn't you? The standard offers additional opportunities for members where they can measure carbon emissions across the whole life cycle from land to occupation of real assets. Demand for whole life carbon assessment is increasing with more clients requesting these services. That's why members need to equip themselves with the right skill sets and knowledge to deliver consistent and accurate assessments.